Hello, Alex here. Just a quick note uh, before this video starts, just to say that whilst I was creating this video, a Jarvis.ai got attacked by Marvel. It wasn't actually the Avengers or anything like that, but basically the lawyers from Disney got in touch and said, yeah, we're not too keen with you using Jarvis anymore. Because you know Jarvis was the super AI computer in Iron Man, I think. So yeah, they said, yeah, please stop. Otherwise you're gonna have to take it to court and it's gonna get expensive. So Jarvis has now renamed to Jasper. I know it's like the second name change, isn't it now? Anyway, conversion AI to Jarvis to Jasper. So yeah, any reference in this video to Jarvis well, I'm also talking about Jasper, of course. So uh, I've updated all my links, but my old links will also work too. Anyway, uh, roll the tape. Regulars on my channel will know that I'm a big fan of Jarvis.ai. It's an AI copywriting tool and I find it really useful in terms of overcoming writer's block and just, you know, generally putting content together. But I hear from a lot of you that uh, you've signed up for Jarvis, which is which is great, uh, but you're not getting the results that you hoped for, and you're finding it a bit of a struggle to get some decent content out of Jarvis. So in this video, I'm going to share with you three things that you might be doing wrong um, that are stopping you from creating some great content with Jarvis AI. Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here, hope you're all well. By the way, if you haven't got Jarvis yet, uh, or you're maybe just a bit intrigued as to what Jarvis is all about, well, there's a link up there to Jarvis, and there's also a link in the description. It's an affiliate link. Thank you very much if you use it. And you'll also find a link down there to a playlist of some of my other videos on Jarvis where I put together some content and, yeah, just generally share how fantastic I think it is. But this video is for people that have already got Jarvis and you're struggling to create some decent content. So let's jump straight into it. The first thing that you might be doing wrong is using Jarvis to do your research. Now, Jarvis is pretty smart. And in fact, Jarvis has been studying the internet for quite a while. He stopped looking at the internet though in 2019. So that doesn't make it very useful for research and in fact, Jarvis never claimed to be a researcher. Jarvis is a writer. So if you're trying to do research with Jarvis and asking Jarvis for facts and figures and, and that kind of thing, then that might be where you're going wrong because Jarvis often regurgitates stuff that's just incorrect, <laughs> just, just wrong. So yeah, I've heard from a lot of people that's one of their biggest problems. They say, you know, Jarvis, he doesn't know what he's talking about. All the facts and things were incorrect. Well, yeah, Jarvis is not there to do research. What you need to do is do your research and your fact checking before you start writing. And then you can use those facts within Jarvis and Jarvis can you know, expand them, rewrite them and all that kind of thing. But yeah, don't rely on Jarvis to do the research for you. The second thing you might be doing wrong is not using the boss mode commands. Now, I think you should all have a boss mode plan because that's the most useful, I think, when it comes to Jarvis. And if you have got a boss mode plan, then you need to be using the commands. And there's a full list of commands within Jarvis uh, for your reference. But generally, Jarvis responds to, you know, plain English. So say, for example, you've got some bullet points uh, within your document. You can then go below them and ask Jarvis to, you know, write about those bullet points. Write about whatever's above. And, and Jarvis will. Or maybe you've put in a paragraph or a couple of sentences and you want them rewriting. Again, you can just ask Jarvis to do that. Just type in something like, you know, rewrite the above. And yeah, there is loads of commands in there and they're really useful. And uh, since I've started using them when I create content with Jarvis, it's really improved the output that I'm getting. The third thing that you might be doing wrong is expecting the output to be perfect every single time. And I'm afraid, uh, it's just not. If you've watched any of my live streams recently, the ones on Thursdays, probably, because that's where I tend to do work with Jarvis, live. Uh, and by the way, if you've not visited, I can't talk. By the way, if you've not visited, why can't I say visited? 
By the way, if you've not visited one of my streams on a Thursday, you definitely should. Uh, it'd be great to see you there. Uh, to make sure you don't miss out, click that subscribe button, click the bell, and then hopefully you'll get notified about those streams. But yeah, anyway, uh, if you've watched any of my streams and you've seen me work with Jarvis, you'll know that sometimes the outputs, they're not very good. Uh, and that just kind of happens. And all you've got to do is, you know, delete it and then run Jarvis again. If that's not very good, delete it, run Jarvis again. Generally, within three or four attempts, you will then start to get something decent. If Jarvis is still not putting out what you need, that's when I go back to uh, point two and start using some of the commands to kind of give Jarvis a bit of direction and a bit of help. Uh, and that tends to work really well for me. So there we go. Short and sweet little video on Jarvis. Uh, if you have got a Jarvis account and you're thinking, oh, it's not working for me, I think I'm going to cancel. Don't. Go back and try again. Remember these three things. One, don't let Jarvis do the research for you. You need to feed Jarvis the facts and, and let Jarvis be the writer, not the researcher. Number two, try out some of the boss mode commands. I think you'll find them really useful. They allow you to kind of give Jarvis some direction. And number three, don't expect the outputs to be perfect every single time. You are gonna have to rewrite some stuff, uh, one or two, maybe three, possibly four times to get the output that you want and that you need for your content. I'd love to know your experiences with Jarvis.ai. Leave me a comment below. I do read all the comments that I get and I will try my best to reply to as many as I possibly can. But uh, until next time, good luck with your sites and uh, I'll see you on the next live stream. Bye for now.